Consciousness is all that exists. So what, you see? How is that going to improve my life? How is that going to, how is this information going to um, give me something truly worth living for? Well, consciousness is that what is truly worth living for. Consciousness is something that is an ex experiential. And the Bhagavad Gita says it has different levels, but it has billions of levels, you know. It has condensed it into five or six levels, God consciousness, cosmic consciousness, transcendental consciousness, human consciousness, Christ consciousness. But it is so many levels that it becomes one. So even though you're experiencing it on a particular level, you're experiencing the whole of consciousness. The mind then is the infiltrator of ruining the experience of whole consciousness because it is an attentive thing that wants to be attentive on one type of consciousness. I want to aim for God consciousness. Therefore, I am not God consciousness. I want to aim for cosmic consciousness. Therefore, I am not cosmic consciousness. So what, what is the purpose of this, th these posts? What is the purpose of informing you? You know, is it that you need more information, or is it just that you need reconfirmation, a reassurance, or a realization of what you are? If your whole consciousness, you are you are the whole universe, okay, but your mind cannot cope with that. It cannot cope with that because it has been broken up in so many ways, in so many experiences. Do you know one experience of on a roller coaster could break up the whole roller coaster ride as one whole ride into thousands and thousands of experiences, of memories, of actions, of activities. I remember going around the, the first bend, the, the, that real drop, my God, my stomach went into my head. Little minuscule experiences of the whole roller coaster ride. Consciousness is in everything. Consciousness is reality. True reality. When it is left to be, when it is not interrupted, infiltrated, and corrupted, and enhanced by a mind that thinks it can replicate consciousness. Mind is here to replicate consciousness. But it cannot replicate the whole consciousness. So therefore, it has to expand itself out and allow as much consciousness as it can in. And the mind of intelligence thinks expanding, expanding it out is to know as much information as possible. But expanding it out is to accept life as it is in its wholeness. The expansion of mind is to reduce it to one thing, mind. It has no qualities, individual qualities. It is one whole quality. That's why, that's the foolishness of human consciousness, which is a part of whole consciousness which can be experienced as we are right now in one body, one whole body, experiencing one whole human consciousness with a human mind that wants to experience the whole of human consciousness. So its only way of thinking, thinking it can do that, is to get, get as much information about the world of conditioned, inherited blurb. So what you're experiencing is individual informative things about the roller coaster ride. So you're breaking up the roller coaster ride through intelligence. Ah, yeah, 
I went on the roller coaster ride. I sat in the fourth seat from the back. All of these are identities and words made up from a language to say this is the story of the roller coaster ride. The roller coaster ride is the whole ride. There is no you in the fourth seat going around bends and up curves and down massive drops with stomachs and head and come crying and screaming. These are all little instant, little instant, instantaneous moments within the roller coaster ride. You're reducing the ride into components. That's what the mind does. The mind and its intelligence actually reduces its capacity. Its capacity to know its whole, the whole ride. So, for, so therefore consciousness in itself, if you're trying to establish what type of consciousness you are, you're reducing yourself into that type of consciousness. Consciousness isn't everything. Consciousness comes first. Consciousness comes second. Consciousness comes third. Consciousness comes fourth. It appears in different qualities because it's interacting, interweaving within itself. Why? Because consciousness is here to experience itself. It doesn't know what it is. It doesn't know anything about itself. It only knows it exists. I am, says consciousness. The first words of consciousness was I, 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 that I to see. Ooh, I sees, therefore I am. I thinks, therefore I am. I, I wants, therefore I am. I needs, therefore I am. So what is the purpose of this, you see? The, whole, the purpose is to experience yourself as that whole consciousness. How do you do it? Is there a way? Is there a way for you to be God consciousness, transcendental consciousness, cosmic consciousness, human consciousness, Christ consciousness, slug consciousness, laptop consciousness, Coffee consciousness all at once? Yes, by denying that there are any separation. There is no separation. There's no division. There's no mind in its little attentive, attaching, associating, needful ways. Mind is whole. Consciousness is whole. Mind can then reflection, reflect consciousness and its wholeness. So the purpose of each one of us to be here is to get to know ourselves, is to understand ourselves, is to experience ourself as consciousness. The only thing that consciousness wants to experience is something that resembles it in every aspect of its seeing. And that's what I is. Here to reveal aspects of myself so that all these aspects can be ticked off, the box of associations done, the box of attachments done. They can pass the box of God consciousness done, the box of transcendental consciousness done, the box of coffee consciousness done, all done, experienced, until none remains. When none remains, that what is experienced has been fulfilled and becomes one. You want to experience the other side, the spiritual, the void, the emptiness? I can't even get that far, more say. Well, maybe you're not needful of it of discovering your whole consciousness yet. And that's okay. Maybe you've got 25 lives to turn up in the samsara body. And that's okay. You're going to love that, yeah. Okay, I'm going to die, but I'm going to come back. Okay, I hope I come back as something different this time. Something better. Something more interesting. Something more, I want to be rich. Yeah, You'll come back. There's no time scale to discovering your whole consciousness, to discovering what this whole consciousness is. I can't think of anything worse than going to a satsang and listening to a speaker on consciousness 
and you're not really interested in discovering your whole consciousness. You're only dis interested in discovering what consciousness is, what it's made of, where can I find it, how can I improve my life with it, where can I go. You are full-blown consciousness, here to experience yourself. Experience yourself in every aspect, in every way. You can experience yourself as that angry man. But really you want to experience the beauty and the love and the compassion and the kindness of yourself towards yourself. And that's not an egoistic way. That's if you can find the kindness and compassion in some other being, you're finding it in yourself because you are the one that is making the assumption, the values, the judgment on that connection between that other being. You are reflecting. They are reflecting you as you are reflecting them. We each, the speaker is the same as any other human being. No different, no special. I'm in jobs. I go in jobs that I'm not really enjoying. So therefore, I'm not getting the full emphasis on myself. Therefore, what do I do? Do I move jobs or do I find something within the job that reflects me? Both are optional. Your seeking is to seek ways of a conscious connection with yourself. You're seeking to connect ways to consciously, consciously know yourself, understand yourself, fulfill yourself, keep realizing yourself, moving and expanding within yourself, reducing yourself, uprising yourself. This is the act of God, you see. You're saying, okay, well, if it's all about me, what about God? Well, you are reflecting God immaculately when you are looking for yourself, when you are really trying to understand fully your whole self, not just your human self, not just your transcendental self, not just your cosmic self, not just your godly self, not just your Christ self. Every self, every aspect of every day is a fluctuation of consciousness. You, in different formulas, in different frequencies, in different positions, in different breaths, in different experiences. All is consciousness and I is that, that I am. Namaste.